Hello and welcome to another video from ERPDrill.com. In this video, we'll be talking about the latest uh, and the greatest from SAP. And uh, everybody's been hearing about this. No one really knows what it is, but here it is uh, in, in, in actual real on-premise form. So S4 HANA is the replacement for the business suite R3 uh, uh, packages of software. The S4, the S here stands for simple and uh, Obviously, it's using the HANA database. So this is a two-part VMware where you have the, uh, just like the BI and the other softwares that you've downloaded from your RP drill, uh, this is, you get the HANA instance here and you get the uh, the uh, application instance here. So it's a two-part system. And if you're using the same network, you can put the HANA on a really fast server and then application on a regular server and then you can connect. You, know, you have so many options. You can use uh, you can use distributed. You can use it on the same uh, computer, like on the same instance, like how I'm doing here, which is the easiest way of doing it. So it's very simple. Everything's been done for you uh, in an easy plug and play. You follow the instruction in this video and you will have everything up and running. So turn on the uh, VMware, you know, just power it on and then uh, the, you don't even need to enter your password. The data will be up and running. Uh, if you're using it for the first time, you have to uh, enter your into your host name. Your IP address has to be matched. So I was 18. So you have to enter this IP address into your uh, host name, which is uh, in Yast, going to Yast and uh, navigate your way into host name. Just change the host IP address to the 18, so mine's 19. Um, so you would change that to 18, okay, 18. And edit this to 18, okay. Press okay, and it will update that. So just to confirm again that my IP address is now 1.18. And then you go into your HDB log into HDB user and HDB INFO if you should HDB oops. you can see my processes are running but since the IP address has changed I may have to restart it but uh, we're going to go with this right now but the most important thing is you have to edit the host file on the application layer as well to know to tell it that now it is 18 so you can see here here it is 18 so it is correct and uh, the HANA IP address is obviously the application layer uh, IP address. So that is how you do it. It's very simple. Just that's all you need to do. Um, just make sure that the uh, the IP address and the time uh, the time zone is correct. So we're on the Eastern time zone. So make sure the time zones are correct. So once that's done, you have an application connected to this. So you open your studio up and you can see over here that is my uh, my HTB system. I'm connected to HANA SP96, which is the 9.1 with patch level 6, again, latest version. And it is showing 39 gigabytes of memory is used, mainly because uh, the ECC is installed directly, including content is directly installed. So there's no SLT required, you know, and a lot of the add-ons are included for you. So now let's go to the old way of doing things, which is from the GUI. Uh, the Simple Finance does not use GUI. So... All the basis task has been done for you. So if you go into status over here, you can see that uh, we're using the kernel that came out pretty much last week, 1.1, latest version of the kernel. It's incredibly fast, very optimized, and uh, made for HANA. And you can see here that uh, you can see the SAP fine, SAP fine, which is, this is the component, which is, this is the simple finance component. And you can see it's at patch level one, updated to patch level one but the UI does not have any patches released because it's version 2, which came out just a few weeks ago. And uh, you can see patch level is zero. This is the UI add-on. So it comes with about 200, 300 add-ons for the different roles. So from a basis perspective, that has been user created. I mean, that has been installed and the user has been created. So uh, you can keep track of your, your Fury stuff from here. I mean, from your... HANA, how HANA is doing from here, basically. So this is, you don't even need to go into Linux. A lot of people complain that they don't know Sosi Linux and all of that stuff. You don't need it. That's why there is Studio. Uh, we've created one user and added all the roles into that. Okay, so as you can see here, the uh, 
this is the Fury interface for your HANA administration and monitoring. So everything looks good. Uh, you have a lot of disk space uh, available. Right, if you want to replicate, create a new client, you know, if you want to give access, if you learn and create a new, there's tons of data, tons of space available in the HANA database. So, uh, so that is that. So that is that. So let's now check out the most important component, which is why most people would be buying this, which is S Finance, Simple Finance. So, uh, from a from a add-on perspective, oh yeah, one more thing I need to show you is that uh, the BI content is fully installed. Uh, there's no IDIS for, for Fury, mainly because the data structures are not clustered. If I can find that here, BI content. Yep, BI content version 6. There's a lot of uh, simple finance uh, data in these in these content. That version, that patch level 6 itself is like a few hundred megabytes uh, big because of the the the, uh, the content in that version of Simple Finance. And uh, uh, they all have been activated. You don't have to worry about any of that. From a basis perspective, this server is perfect. And uh, now I'm going to show you the uh, the uh, Fury side of things, again, from a basis perspective. Uh, and what do you say, what do you mean when I say basis? means that you do not need a basis guy to do anything for you. You, you I hope you're an application consultant, uh, you know, FICO consultant, or you are, uh, a guy who wants to get into the application side of HANA or you want to get into the technical side of HANA, uh, there is no need for a basis guy anymore because all has been done for you. Uh, as you can see over here that uh, the catalog, the entire catalog has been loaded, not just the, uh, the it, uh, I mean, uh, Fury works from a role-based perspective. So basically, if you want to create a role for, uh, like it's being, you can see the groups here like a financial analyst or a jail accountant, you can see the, the groups of uh, tiles that are needed for that particular activity of that, that person, right? So uh, this is, a, a my user is a basis user. Basically, this is for uh, editing and, and adding the tiles. From a functional perspective, you just have to take this, drag it, and drop it onto the user, basically. So this is the entire catalog. Everything shows up. There's nothing to configure in the back end, you know? No data to activate. None of that Fury stuff needs to be done because everything shows up here. Okay, so this is the groupings uh, for by 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 role, and this is the catalog if you want if you have hybrid roles for users. So this is where uh, the other stuff comes in. Okay, uh, this is from the S Finance add-on, just this bit. 146 tiles, 146 functions. All right, so so that that is the the simple finance, uh, and this is the version 2.0. Again. Uh, complete ready to download uh, you know and uh, there is no way you can get proper access to to HANA it is a PAAS system meaning it's a platform you need a shell level access which means you need to have access to the OS you need to have access to HANA you know and uh, with the VMware you get access to everything you get the shell access you're not getting just a IP address to log into your your uh, your HANA you know it doesn't do anything so you get GUI, you get uh, the studio, and you get the simple, uh, the Fury via the the uh, Internet Explorer. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, send us an email, sales at uh, sapdrill.com, or you can purchase this at erpdrill.com. You can, you can see, download from erpdrill. That's a website. So uh, any questions, just call or Skype us. Again, our Skype ID is also erpdrill.com. Add us on Skype if you have any questions and uh, uh, perfect system, perfect machine, and uh, we have all the stuff that you need.